So, here we have another question on diode circuits and uh, here we have this circuit and uh, we are asked to find out the voltage across this 2 kilo ohm load resistor ok and the information which I have provided related to the diodes is that they are silicon diodes both D1 and D2 with zero forward resistance. So, this means built in potential will be 0 0.7 volt forward resistance will be 0 ohm. We will replace the diode with its equivalent circuit which means like this only the built in potential ok this both D1 and D2. Next finding out about the state of the diodes whether they are on or off see both the diodes D1 and D2 have their p ends connected to 10 volt plus 10 volt positive potential n end is connected to ground which is 0 volt. So, both the diodes D1 and D2 are on ok. So, if we redraw the circuit it will be like this ok. Ten volt, zero point seven volt, two kilo ohm, zero point seven volt, two kilo ohm, two kilo ohm. This is V zero. So for that we have to find out the current flowing through this uh, two kilo ohm resistor. Another important thing to notice here is that in both these paths which are divided into these two paths here from here this point they have identical conditions same built in potential same resistance 0.7 volt 2 kilo ohm 0.7 volt 2 kilo ohm. So, it means the same current will flow through each of these paths let us say I and I. So, here it means the current the total current here is 2 I and here also the current is 2i, here also it is 2i. So, current 2i is flowing through 2 kilo ohm. Again try to understand. Both these paths, okay, the path which gets divided here, both have identical conditions. Okay, same diodes with identical conditions, built in potential and this resistance value, they are all the same 0.7 volt 2 kilo ohm, 0.7 volt 2 kilo ohm, which means same current will flow through each of these paths which means if we name the currents as I then the total current being supplied from the 10 volt is 2I and the current flowing through the 2 kilo ohm resistor is also 2I. So, here if we apply KVL in this path in this way from one ground to another ground like this. like this KVL from one ground following this path to here the KVL equation will be 10 minus 0 0.7 here minus I into 2 kilo ohm again here it is 2 I minus 2 I into 2 kilo ohm ok which is equal to 0 that implies it is how much the current I is equal to 10 minus 0 0.7 divided by it is 4 I plus 2 I which is 6, 6 I. So, it is divided by 6 ok which is equal to 9.3 divided by 6 always 
make no mistake related to units. This is volt, this is kilo ohm. Okay. So this is the thing. It is 10 minus what I'm what I have done is like this: 9.3 minus 6i is equal to 0. Here 4i plus 2i 6i, and then we got this. Okay, so you have no confusion here. So it is 9.3 divided by 6. 1.55 milliamperes. Why? Because volt by kilo ohm is always milliampere. So the current I is 1.55 milliampere. We are interested in the current flowing through this 2 kilo ohm resistor which is 2I. 2I is 1.55 into 2 which will be 3.1 and if we want to calculate the voltage V0, V0 is simply 2i into 2 kilo ohm which is 3.1 that is equal to 3.1 milliampere into 2 kilo ohm which is equal to 6.2 volt. Okay, This is in milliampere, this is in kilo ohm both got cancelled and we got 6.2 volt. The output voltage is 6.2 volt. So always never make any mistake related to units. Suppose you by mistake, uh, you know, you write it uh, in place of kilo ohm, you write it ohm, then the whole answer will be wrong. So always make no mistake related to specifying the units. Okay. So this is the question here again it was related to the state of the diodes predict or not predicting figuring out the state of the diodes depending on how they are connected then replacing the diode with their equivalent circuit then basic network analysis techniques to find out the network parameters here we are to calculate the output voltage okay so we have got the result it is 6.2 volt So here we are with another question on diode circuits. So we have the circuit here and uh, we have been given information that the diodes D1 and D2, they are silicon diodes with 0 forward resistance and we are asked to find out the values of the currents I1, I2 and I3. Okay, this is I2, this is I3, this is I1. Okay. So first we have to find out the state of the diodes. After finding out we will replace them with their equivalent circuit and then use network analysis techniques to find out the current. Now here we are provided that they are silicon diodes with zero forward resistance. So when silicon term comes into play we have to understand that the built in potential is 0 0.7 volt forward resistance is 0 ohm so it is the diode will be replaced with its equivalent circuit that is 0 0.7 volt and no forward resistance 0 0.7 both diode d1 and d2 so we'll redraw the equivalent circuit and will be something like this. Twenty volt. Then we have okay the diodes. So first we have to determine the state of the diodes D one and D two. See here for D one the P end is connected to the positive end, positive terminal of the supply. This is the negative term, terminal. P end is connected to positive, N end is connected to the negative. So D1 is forward biased, it is on. D2, the P end is connected to the positive terminal of the supply, N end is connected to the negative terminal. So D2 is also forward biased, which is on. 
So, we will replace D1 with its equivalent circuit that is the built in potential that is 0 0.7 volt. Also, we will replace D2 with its equivalent circuit that is the 0 0.7 volt. Then we have 5.6 kilo ohm. This, this is 0 0.7 volt, 0 0.7 volt. Then we have 3.3 kilo ohm. This is I3, this is I2, this is I1. Now, here the voltage across this 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistor is 0 0.7 volt. See, 0 0.7 volt, there is no other voltage. So, the entire point sun volt will appear across this 3.3 .3 kilo ohm resistor. I3 will be simply 0.7 volt by 3.3 .3 kilo ohm, which is equal to 0.7 by 3.3 0 0.212 milliampere. Okay, 0. 212 milliampere. Next, we will apply KVL in this closed loop. 20 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 and here the current is I1. See, I1 is flowing here into this network and also the same current I1 will flow into the source positive to negative. So, here also through the 5.6 kilo ohm resistor I1 current will flow basic concept of network theory. So, it will be 5.6 into I1 that implies I1 is equal to 20 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 divided by 5.6 this is volt this is kilo ohm which is equal to 20 minus 1.4 which is 18.6 18.6 volt by 5.6 kilo ohm which is equal to 3.32 okay 3.321 actually 3.321 milliampere that is I1. We have got I3, we have got I1. So, see here, here it is I3 which is equal to 0 0.212 milliampere. Here it is I1 which is equal to 3.321 milliampere. Now, if you see here, I3, if you apply KCL at this node or this node, any node, if you apply KCL, this node or this node, you will have I2 plus I3 is equal to I1 or I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. That implies I2 is equal to I1 minus I3 which is equal to 3.321 minus 0 0.212 milliampere which is equal to 3.109 it is coming around 3.109 milliampere 3.109 milliampere that is I2. So, we have got I3, we have got I1 and we have got I2. Okay? I2, I1 and I3, all the required currents that were asked. So, again all the uh, questions related to analog electronics, they require basic understanding of the electronic components then basic concepts of network theory circuit analysis techniques. Okay? 
So here basic understanding of diodes that is whether they are on or off then if they are on what to replace it with the equivalent circuit depending on the information which is given. So we are given with the information silicon zero forward resistance. So we replaced it with the built in potential 0.7 volt zero forward resistance. Then we used basic circuit analysis techniques KVL and KCL to determine the currents the information which was asked the parameters ok. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much.